Yeah. So. And we've seen people do that, you know, like kind of a, like as an example, right? Like, cause before you were mentioning, you know, one of the strategies being, Hey, you know, you get into Bitcoin Ethereum as the market goes up, once it's safe, you know, maybe dribble some of that into other coins and stuff like that. Like, just as an example, like, because I think a lot of people out there, when they listen to us, like maybe they're hearing about, you know, who me and Miguel are for the first time today, or maybe me for the first time, Miguel for the second or third time or whatever. But it's one of these things where um, just like a real life story helps. And so like just, you know, I mean, we all mutually know Myron from Fresh and Fit, right? And so, um, you know, he was getting into crypto, you know, early back when it was about like $7,000 per Bitcoin. And we went up to $70,000 per coin, right? And then we came back down and we're at where we're at now. But that's a realistic expectation of like that's a 10x on the boomer asset in crypto like the boringest gold rock of yeah. Bitcoin. yeah yeah and it is it's a lot like gold that's how i look at it i look at it like digital gold right exactly and so like if that's the boring asset in this asset class oh boy this is a this is a fun asset class to be in i'll tell you that much yeah yeah absolutely yeah. you know another thing about those coins especially like the crazy named ones that miguel calls me with i'm like okay miguel okay <laughs> and he's always fucking right, by the way. He's never been wrong. <laughs> yep. I look at that because th some of those coins were what, 100x return sometimes, some crazy stuff? Okay, cool. Let's say I spent $100,000 yeah. on 10 of those different coins and nine of them miss, but one of them hits. Yeah. Do I really give a fuck that the other nine missed? Do I at that point? Because, yeah. I mean, only one of them have to hit. So, right. I mean, it's like, it's yeah. like getting a, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to, I would never compare it to gambling. Right. But at the same time, if it were gambling and my odds were, if one of these 10 hit red, you go to the moon, I'm taking that bet every day. Yeah. The odds are just really good, especially when there's somebody like you two doing critical research all night, every day. And I'll tell you another thing I know about Miguel guys. I don't, Charlie, I don't know you, so I can't speak for you, but Tra uh, Miguel, I know, is a sober individual.